Tokyo is truly a magical city with so many exciting things to do. And if you're one of those people who actually want to take their kids on you with vacation, we have good news for you. It has plenty to offer the little ones too. Tokyo is very kid-friendly, and I can guarantee that the whole family will enjoy your trip there. In this video, we'll take a look at all of the best attractions that Tokyo has waiting for your whole family on your next vacation. Tokyo Disneyland and Disney Sea. There's no better place to start than with Disneyland and Disney Sea. Come on, they'll go bananas! These magical theme parks are based on the original Disneyland in California. But don't worry if you've already been to that one though, because there's some unique rides in Tokyo that you can't find anywhere else. Like if you've seen the popular anime movie Spirited Away, then we suggest you make your way to the Splash Mountain ride that's dedicated to it. The park is divided into seven different areas and they all have their own unique theme and attractions. As you walk into the main entrance, you'll be welcomed into the World Bazaar, where there's a whole bunch of restaurants and shops. Over in Adventureland, you can go on a jungle cruise and then stop into the enchanted Tiki Room to be blessed in musical paradise. Saddle up and head to the Western Land if you want to live out the Wild West and go on the Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. And for all the classic Disney attractions like It's a Small World and Peter Pan's Flight, Fantasyland is where all your dreams can come true. I mean, your kids. You can also ride the Star Jets in Tomorrowland, a futuristic themed area. Then you can go get silly in the cartoon themed area called Toontown and bounce around on Goofy's Bounce House. And then head over to Critter Country, which is a fun filled wooded area. Disney Sea is a Disney park that's completely unlike the rest. It's a day filled with exploring what's in the magnificent depths of our mystifying ocean. And just like Disneyland, it's divided into several different areas. Mediterranean Harbor is the main entrance of the park and it's where all of the restaurants and shops are. Over in the American waterfront, you can see some East Coast inspired attractions and the Toy Story Mania interactive ride. Then in Port Discovery, you can see what the future will be like and go on the Aquatopia ride. If you're an Indiana Jones lover, then the Temple of the Crystal Skull ride in the Lost River Delta area will probably be your favorite. The whole area is based on the ancient civilization of South America. One of my favorites, though, is the cartoon-themed area called Mermaid Lagoon, and it's all based on The Little Mermaid, of course. Then there's the Arabian Coast, which is inspired by the Middle East and has the popular ride called Sinbad's Storybook Voyage. And lastly, the mysterious island area is all based on the works of Jules Verne. While in the area, you can take a journey to the center of the Earth on one of the most popular attractions. Number 2. Ueno Zoo it just would not be a kid-friendly trip if it didn't involve a zoo. And the Ueno Zoo is awesome. It's also one of the oldest zoos in Japan and has over 3,000 animals hanging out in it. They have animals from all over the world, like pandas, elephants, lions, monkeys, a whole bunch of different birds, reptiles, and some cool fish. A crowd favorite, though, is definitely the pandas. They have a cozy and spacious area to eat, sleep, and play in, and you can watch them up close. Best part, though, is that there's a pair of giant pandas that are just waiting for you to come out and hang with them. And I'm sure I have at least a few elephant lovers out there listening. This zoo has a herd of Asian elephants trotting around. If you haven't seen an elephant take a bath yet, then this could be your big opportunity. And to kick things up a notch, you can also go for a majestic elephant ride, pony ride, or hop on a small train. Lots of things to ride over there. There's also several interactive exhibits and animal feeding areas where you can encounter some animals up close and personal. And a really cool thing about the zoo is that they've bred a lot of endangered species there, so you can go see some rare animal babies and their parents. Cheers to protecting endangered species! Once the kids get bored of the animals, they can burn off the rest of their energy at a large playground. There's all the good stuff, like climbing structures, slides, and swings. But if your kids never seem to get bored of the animals, then maybe go deeper and check out an educational program or a guided tour. Number 3. Odaiba Another iconic tourist location for families is the man-made island in Tokyo Bay called Odaiba. This futuristic and high-tech area was developed in the 1990s and it's been improving ever since. While there, the number one thing to do is take a spin on the 115-meter-high Ferris wheel. It's called Tokyo Eye because of the breathtaking views of the Tokyo skyline. 
And the good news is, is that the big wheel keeps spinning around every day of the year. And if you want to break out the beakers and lab coats, the National Museum of Emerging Science and Innovation on the island is a must. It's nicknamed the Miraicon, and it's a futuristic and interactive science museum. Your whole family will love the wide range of scientific topics and all of the interactive exhibits and activities. The last attraction on the island that I'll mention is the Legoland Discovery Center. The kids can explore their creativity and imagination through building with Lego, interactive exhibits, and some cool hands-on activities. Other than those big attractions, there's a lot of other really cool stuff there too like a diverse choice of shops and restaurants and the Venus Fort shopping mall that was designed to look like an 18th century European town. And then there's another large shopping center called Diver City Tokyo Plaza, where you can catch a movie at the cinema. Number 4. Tokyo Skytree Next up is the Mighty High Tokyo Skytree. It is 643 meters tall. That's the tallest building in the world. It's been a highly popular tourist attraction as soon as it was built in 2012 in Sumida, Tokyo. The Sky Tree was built as a transmission tower for digital terrestrial television and FM radio, but they of course also had to build two observation decks and a shopping mall. There's also an aquarium because why not? Because the observation decks are so high in the air, it's naturally considered the best view of Tokyo. One of them is 350 meters in the air and has an incredible panoramic view of the beautiful city. Even better though, the other deck is 450 meters high, so the bird's eye view is just that much more amazing. The beautiful Mount Fuji could be in your eye shot on a clear day, and I hope that is for you because it's just jaw-dropping. To ramp up the experience though, there's virtual reality simulations inside Skytree that will really give you a unique perspective. By putting on the headset, you'll get to see what it would be like to fly across Tokyo like a bird soaring in a limitless sky. There's also a pretty crazy virtual reality attraction where you bungee jump off the side of the building. Let's be honest, you're probably too chicken to do the real thing anyway. But luckily, this will make you feel like you're actually free falling. And once you're back down to your visit from the sky, there's a shopping mall with restaurants and entertainment all at the base of the tower. That's Tokyo Skytree Town. You will love it. Number 5. Sumida Aquarium When you're in the little Skytree town, the kids would love to go to the Sumida Aquarium. There's a tank that has a walking tunnel through it so the fish are swimming all around you, even above your head. It's like being underwater with all of them. And by them, I mean sharks, rays, sea turtles, and a bunch of other tropical fish swimming around. If you, or more likely your kids, have that instinct to touch everything you see, then you'll love the touch tanks. You can get a hands-on experience with starfish, sea urchins, and even some small sharks and rays if you're brave enough. The aquarium has a lot to offer if you're looking to learn more about the creatures of the ocean. There's a bunch of interactive and educational programs like tours and workshops. You'll definitely walk away understanding why preserving our marine resources is a good idea. Number 6. Kidzania Kidzania is a special type of theme park that you can't find in most places. Your kids can get a taste of the adult world in a city-themed park where kids role-play as adults and experience different types of jobs. It's a great way to educate kids about different careers and the wonderful world of work. The city is filled with buildings for all the different types of jobs, like doctors, firefighters, chefs, pilots, and a whole bunch more. The activities are designed to teach the kids about the skills, tools, and responsibilities of each job to show them what it would be like to do the real thing. And to make it even more realistic, the city has its own currency called Kidzos. Your kids can make hard-earned cash by working at different stations. Then, after a hard day's work, they can go buy things at the Kidzania store. If you want your kids to get a better understanding of money management and the value of earning money, this is the perfect lesson. They'll be having so much fun, though, that they'll have no idea that they're learning one of the world's most important lessons. Number 7. Tokyo National Museum And if you want to stick to the educational theme, head over to Ueno Park to check out the oldest and largest museum in Japan, the Tokyo National Museum. The family can learn all about the rich culture of Japan all the way back to ancient times to the present day. There's a lot of really cool exhibits there, like ancient pottery, sculptures, and a bunch of awesome artifacts from different time periods in Japan, like Jomon, Yayoi, and Kofun. 
However, the most popular and badass exhibit is definitely the samurai collection. It's a fun look inside of medieval Japan because it's filled with samurai armor and, even better, weapons. Learning is made fun in this museum because of all the interactive activities and hands-on workshops like paper folding and drawing classes. And if you want to let the kids go off and do their own thing, there's a children's corner where they can play games and have fun with educational toys. It's the perfect stop on your family trip to Tokyo. Number 8. Visit a themed cafe. When it's dinner time, you definitely need to take the family to a themed cafe for a dinner they'll never forget. These concept cafes, or character cafes, are really popular in Tokyo. Children and tourists absolutely love eating dinner in a themed restaurant, whether it's based on cartoon characters, animals, or a pop culture reference. If you want cute and cuddly animal cafes, then Harajuku, Yoyogi Park, and Akihabara are definitely at the top of the list. Before you go snapping off a thousand pictures, though, ask for permission first. This can be frowned upon in some spots. And lastly, if you want to get your geek on, then Akihabara is made for you. It literally means geek or nerd. It's one of the largest anime and manga shops in Tokyo, filled to the brim with action figures and plushies. There's plenty of other collectibles and merchandise, both vintage and new. It's anime and manga heaven. Even if it's not your thing, it's still a must-see spot for your family trip. Alright, now take this information and go make unforgettable memories with your little ones. Click the thumbs up button if your kids would love Tokyo, and don't forget to subscribe to our page for more adventure tips. See us on the next video!